Hello, hello! Welcome back to Road Tripping with Rachel. I'm Rachel and thank you so much for joining me on this road trip because Merry Christmas! I believe we are on Vlogmas Day 5. This is so exciting. So I actually have some Christmas presents that I need to get wrapped. I am a crafter, which I haven't really talked about too much on this channel yet, but I really enjoy making gifts. I crochet, I embroidery. Um, technically speaking, I can knit. I really wouldn't give anything I knit to someone else. Um, it's, it's just not up to par to be perfectly honest about it. But I have been crocheting all year since I hired my student ambassadors who um, I have talked about baking cakes for them, making other things for them. Um, but since I did my hiring in March, I have been working on their Christmas gifts for this year. And so I have spent the last several months crocheting them scarves, 11 of them to be exact. Uh, has been what I have been making. And then one ended up being too short, so it has turned into an earmuff. Um, like, that you just slip over your head. But I've done different stitches on them. We've done, we've connected them. We've done different colors. Um, I have been working on them, <laughs> to say the least. So we are going to get these wrapped because I have their Christmas party is coming up very soon. And I am okay with showing this on the video because by the time this video actually goes up, we would have already have had the party. So we are going to get going. So real quick, I want to show you some of the items that we have that we are going to be using to get everything done. So I am actually, I found this on Pinterest several years ago and I've always wanted to do it, but my um, family really wouldn't appreciate it. And I think with the students, I think it would go over much better. So to do this, we need craft paper, scissors, a ruler, something to write with so I can keep my line straight, glue. And we are actually going to be making... Uh, it's going to be super cute, but I this is what I had found quite a while ago. You can see it. So we are going to make little like packages for them. Um, so I am planning on making a star, a stocking, and Christmas tree. And then the students just like pick them randomly. Um, so I'm not putting anybody's names on anything. It's just going to be they're just going to get to pick them up. And I think I'm going to like draw on them and decorate them and have some fun with it. So I will get back to you once I get things cut out and I have the first few things ready to go so you can kind of see what my thought process with this is. So we're into this and uh, I've already run into an issue of apparently I made one of them too small. But let me show you what I do have done already. So I have a Christmas tree cut out of the craft paper. It's kind of rolling. And then I have a stocking also rolled out. So we are going to try the stocking, which I should have figured with the um, star that it was going to be too small. But let's try this with the stocking and with the uh, tree. And I think it will come out better. Nothing major, nothing gained. Didn't quite work how I thought it would, but you know, we're all here for a good time and we want a Pinterest success story. Elmer has failed me. So we're turning to a hot glue gun. I will be successful because this is gonna be super cute and I wanna do this for my students. <laughs> Let's see how this turns out. But I'm not going to show you guys this while I'm doing it. One, I don't have enough hands. Two, I don't have a good enough tripod. And three, I just need to be able to concentrate. We're going to come back to this. I just picked up glue sticks and apparently their diameter is too large for my glue gun. Thank you, Dollar General. But I'm getting frustrated now. So we're going to put this off <laughs> for a little while. And maybe at another point, we will try to get some different glue sticks. Okay, so obviously it's a new day. I'm in a different top. My hair looks completely different. 
I spent so much time trying to get that wrapping paper to work. So much time. And I just couldn't, I couldn't get it to work out right, which I'm very disappointed about. Uh, I tried hot glue. I tried Elmer's. Elmer's, you failed me. Hot glue gun, you also failed me. I managed to get like two of them to turn out. So this is how they ended up turning out. Like I got two of them, two Christmas trees. So I'm going to stop there because I'm not pushing my luck. And me getting frustrated with this takes all the fun out of it. So I am just going to wrap it up. <laughs> and then I always think it's super cute whenever I wrap my Christmas packages. Now my sister hates this, but you know, oh well, get over it. Um, but I like to make mine look like little parcels you got in the mail. So um, I've got red and green yarn here. So I'm gonna tie them up with red and green yarn and then I'll write like Merry Christmas across them. I'll make them look really cute. But that's something like I personally really enjoy doing. I like to have a little bit of a artistic fun with this. So we'll go on ahead and we will get to work on this. I've got my pile over here. I'm probably going to turn on some Christmas music. And then I'll show you what they look like once I get some of the parcels wrapped up. That way you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. Okie dokie, I'm on my last one. I actually really liked this one. I did a lemon stitch on it. It's so nice. I'm quite proud of this one. Um, I made the, all of the scarves that I made, are, they're all different. I did a different stitch on them. I guess I should say like I do crochet, just in case someone didn't pick up on that. Um, I do crochet. I actually um, typically, I, normally there's a handful of gifts that I've made at Christmas time that um, I've worked on for quite a while. Um, I've actually got a wedding gift I'm also working on. So I had to uh, get these done so I could get started on the wedding gift. I was working on these long before like the, the couple was engaged. So um, these were, not that they were higher up, but as these were just ones I needed to get done first. So because I was already working on them and I had a definite definitive time crunch for these um, because like when I work on um, like if I crochet like a blanket anything like that um, once I have the pattern down like I can whip through that sucker super quick the exception to that is like if I'm making a really large project um, so like when my younger sister got married I actually took three months I think was what it what was what it ended up taking for me to make her blanket um but that thing was huge I made um the blanket itself was um oh goodness it was large enough it could fit a queen size bed and hangover I think was what I ended up doing or it no it would fit a full-size bed with room so it was it was a queen size um, that was how I made it. And then I've made a blanket for my parents. Now that one took me almost a year to make, um, but I alternated the color on every single row and it was, it's big enough that it covers a king size bed. Okay. So I use the different colored yarn. So this is what all of my little gifts look like. I'm going to go back through and like, like Merry Christmas and things like that on them. I need to figure out how I'm going to incorporate some green and red into these, <laughs> these guys. Um, because they're pretty and I really, I mean, they did turn out cute. The two I managed to make before I got frustrated. So I will have to see how I can get some red and green on these ones. So I'll take a minute or two and try and figure that out before I come back to show you the final, final products. Okay, so like every time I sit down, like I've shifted positions in the, in the view. So I finished them. So I went through and this is what I ended up doing for my tree. So it kind of looks as though it's got a string of lights or something. on. So I went through and I wrote Merry Christmas on all of them in different languages. <laughs> Look at me being all cute and stuff. So we've got Merry Christmas, obviously. Feliz Navidad. Um, I did one in Japanese. So I tried to find things that like would kind of suit the um personalities of all of my different ambassadors so i've got some that are really into anime and manga and um i've got some that are um 
interested in different cultures and things like that. So I thought, oh, this will be kind of cute. That way they get a Merry Christmas. So I've got like Danish on here. Uh, I got uh, Italian. I did one German. Um, uh, not Icelandic. I'm trying to think. Dutch. Dutch on here. Um, French. Swedish. My favorite. Good job. And uh, Portuguese. And then I've got a student who is, um, I've actually, yeah, I've got two students who are uh, Christian ministry majors. And I thought we'll put Latin on there just for cutesies. Um, plus I went on ahead and I wrapped up the white elephant gift that we're going to be, um, doing our exchanges for too. So there are the Christmas gifts. I have not yet wrapped the gifts that will be for my family, but, uh, I'll get those wrapped here eventually. They watch these, <laughs> they watch these videos. So I'm not going to be wrapping those on camera, um, because I can promise. And I know my sister is going to see this. So Sarah, you're nosy. You are nosy. <laughs> and so I have kept hers hidden since like May. I've had her gift for a very long time and I've had them hidden. So uh, I need to make sure that she does not find out here in the final hours uh, what her gifts are. But I'm excited. I've worked quite a while on these. So like I said, these are going, we're doing this gift exchange um, before this video will go live. So I didn't mind showing these because if any of my students do happen to end up seeing these, um, I'm not all that concerned about it because uh, they will have already have opened the gifts. <laughs> so, um, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to, uh, and hopefully they'll like them. I mean, like I'm not emotionally tied to these scarves, but uh, I mean, I have spent the last year making them so I mean I hope they at least appreciate them they don't necessarily have to like them so to speak but I and they are more than welcome to like change them around or re-gift them or anything like that so I want just don't tell me if you do that <laughs> okay um I am gonna go ahead finish getting ready for the rest of the day because it's actually the morning and um this has been a lot of fun to spend vlogmas with you so Hopefully you enjoyed watching me kind of get to wrap things and the experience of trying to do something cute and then it not working out and then having to go back to what you normally do and just making it a little cutesier than what you normally end up doing. So great spending the day with you. If you enjoyed this, make sure that you like and subscribe. That helps out my channel and I'm spending the month of December with you. So I hope that you are having a great Christmas holiday season. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.